With your hostess, me, Peaches Christ. <laughs> this is just a little bling that I threw together before the show. You know, nothing special, but it does the trick. Now, I love coffee. You know, Pam Greer is definitely a cult film icon. A lot of people remember her from Jackie Brown, the Quentin Tarantino movie, but they may not know she's had an entire career previous to that film being released. Uh, that's really quite amazing and started with women in prison films directed by Jack Hill. Of all her early movies, I think Coffee really is the finest Pam Greer vehicle. It kind of has everything, you know, she has to go undercover, save her sister, she's a hooker, there's girl fights, there's violence, there's drugs and pimps. Everything you want in a really great black exploitation vehicle. And Pam never looked better, and her performance is stellar. Midnight Mass, oh. we're here for the Hooker Pride Parade! Oh, this is it! Hi, I'm Cookie Joho. <laughs> Are we allowed to show things like this? It's all, it's all in good fun. What do you want with me? My name's Cop. You had to have, eventually, a movie come out where there was a powerful female in the black exploitation genre just because the movies are very kind of male oriented. They're about pimps and drug dealers and like a lot of dudes kind of doing dude things. And the women are kind of secondary to that. So it was really necessary for the genre to have a, a character who was very strong. You better believe it's coming. I think anybody can get behind a revenge film, like a good old revenge film. That's sort of an evergreen plot, exploitation movie or not. And if you have a heroine, you can really root for. A lot of times it's hard watching a black exploitation movie out of context, because it does seem like a movie that was made in a completely different time and place. And I know what you want too, and you're gonna get it. So my favorite scene in Coffee has to be the scene where Coffee gets in a fight with that crazy white girl who grabs on to Coffee's hair only to find it's been stuffed with razor blades. I mean, that to me is cinematic genius. You know, whoever thought of that. I mean, maybe they were doing that back in the day out in the streets. It's like, I wish I could just reach up, you know, into my hair right now and pull out a weapon. You know, should I, need, should I be confronted by someone on the street? You know, Coffee had it all. She had the hair, she had the outfit, she had the boobs. Um, but hiding amongst her afro were razor blades, just in case someone were to grab onto her hair. I don't have any salad. <laughs> My favorite scene is probably uh, when Pam's putting on the, uh, the fake Jamaican accent. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. George, I presume. And she does so many amazing things in the movie, and then her accent is sort of questionable. And I can see that you're not at all disappointed, of course. Well, we're of course at Midnight Mass for my secret treasure pick, which this year is coffee. As you know, Puta, every year I pick a movie that's sort of lesser known. That's like my, my treasure, really. And this year, um, Puta was the perfect special guest to have for coffee. And it's been a pleasure to be here, Peaches. What a lot of people don't know is that she's responsible for my hair. All the hair that I wear is you know crafted um, with these very hands. And we're doing Night of a Thousand Afros, so it's perfect, really. Anything that goes on peaches that I do has to be big. It has to be bigger than life. I'm and crazy. you're a big Pam Greer fan. I absolutely love Pam Greer. She is like an idol of mine. I mean, just the outfits, the hair, the just the action, the mamacita, you know, she was just like. The attitude. Oh yeah, absolutely the attitude. I had no idea there would be this many hookers. I heard this actually, this song Dupuis was playing called Street Life. And I was like, oh my God, that song is perfect. It's about hookers. And we, we wanted to do a whole tribute to hookers really because of coffee. And um, 
And so I knew that Martini and I could do, you know, a little cat fight. So we, you know, lip synced Street Life, and I have to admit, I don't think I did a very good job. But no, it was you know, fabulous. Oh, thank you, honey. Street Life. The song was really about, you know, living on the streets and being being out there. And it was Martini and I kind of as, as two, you know, ladies of the night, um, you know, fighting over some some Johns. And um, in an homage to the movie Coffee, I poured salad over Martini's head, just as Pam Greer does, um, to incite that sort of major feud. You don't have any salad. got into an argument and I reached into her, you know, her hair to, to grab onto it and really just, you know, pull her down. And she had hidden razor blades in her wig and actually cut her. Yes, I was cut. She's actually bleeding. Look, my tiny, I'm bleeding, you bitch. Sorry, you guys. Did you hear what she said? She went, oh no. That's actually what she said.